Hi, and welcome back to this introductory unit to the ACT MOOC. In this video, you will get a general overview of the different types of services that can be offered to make your event accessible to people with disabilities. In the previous video, you learned that there are people with sensory impairments who need access to visual or oral content, people with mental or intellectual impairments who need simplified content or an adapted environment to be able to follow the event, and people with physical disabilities who need services that improve their access to and inside the venue. Let us start with the latter audience and the services they need. Broadly speaking, we can say that for people with physical impairments, accessibility managers and coordinators have to take into account two main features, the outdoor accessibility of the venue and its indoor accessibility. In terms of outdoor accessibility, requirements to take into account comprise accessible public transportation and parking and infrastructure facilitating access to the actual venue. When it comes to indoor accessibility, important features to consider are access to the ticketing service, access to sanitary facilities and requirements for accessible seating. This is just a very broad panoramic view. In Unit 2, you will learn much more about these and other services improving venue access, and you will see how they can be put in practice. Next, let me categorize the services for people with sensory impairments, that is, people with visual impairments and people with impaired hearing. The services that are offered to these audiences can be grouped according to three different channels, namely the acoustic channel, that is sound, the visual channel, that is images, and the tactile channel, this is touch. Since people who are visually impaired suffer from low vision, the access services provided to them will mainly be rendered through the acoustic channel and, to a lesser extent, through the tactile channel. But since the majority of them are partially sighted and still do have some part of their vision left, access can also be provided through the visual channel. Examples of services provided through the acoustic channel include audio description, audio introductions and audio subtitles. Tactile services include documents in Braille and touch tours. And large letter prints are an example of a service provided through the visual channel. For people who are deaf or hard of hearing, the same three channels can be used to offer specific access services. In this case, the visual channel is the dominant one and can be used for sign language interpreting and subtitles or surtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. The auditory channel is used in hearing loops, while vibrating chairs are an example of a service offered through the tactile channel. Finally, the third group of people we identified are people with a cognitive or a developmental impairment. In other words, people who may find it difficult to understand the content of the event or who have difficulties with processing the multitude of stimuli they are presented with and therefore may need an adapted environment. As such, they can use the services already mentioned before. For example, an audio description that offers an additional explanation of the story to make it easier to understand. In addition, there are specific services tailored to the needs of these people, such as easy to read materials or relaxed performances. And just like all the other members in the audience, they can benefit from interlingual translations of foreign language content. Again, this is just the general overview. A more detailed description and illustrations of all these services will be presented in Unit 3. I hope to see you there.